There's nowhere else to go, folks. They destroy America. There's nowhere else to go. I come in to Ray Charles there because it's just so beautiful. And it's like they just want to urinate all over American greatness, all over America's beauty, all the freedoms and the prosperity. Now, I want to go to this clip. This is Henry Davis. You may recognize Henry Davis. He's had a lot of videos go viral on Twitter. He's famous for his laugh. Basically, he does a video short and talks about the left and then has a hilarious laugh about how ridiculous they are. And he's become pretty popular on Twitter. And recently, he's been informed that he is going to get an invite to the White House. So I wanted to play this video because it's emotional and, and it's everything that people are missing out on right now. We are literally having the American Revolution right now. The, the, the freedom revolution is happening. The truth revolution is happening. This is it. And we're having it. And I just feel so bad for these people that don't want to be a part of it. So let's go to this emotional clip from Henry Davis and see if we can't choke back the tears. I was just sitting here watching President Trump talking about Foxconn and explaining all of the things that he's doing for America. And he had this black lady come up there and give a little speech about how her life has changed because of some of his accomplishments and whatnot. And I'm just so proud I'm just proud to be an American, you know. And again, Barack Obama, I respected the office. I respected the fact that he was the president, but ain't nobody like Trump, man. If you want to work, it's jobs out here. And I'm literally like, I'm just crying because, because I'm just, I'm like, it's just, it's just a good time to be alive. And to be able to witness what's really going on, and we got a chance. I'm just talking about from a black perspective. If you really want to work and get up off your ass and do something, you can do it. I just thank God for President Trump. You know, I ain't never met the man. I don't know the man. But I'm just talking about what he's doing for our country and what he's doing for our people. Black people working, you know what I'm saying? Jobs is coming back, factories is opening up. You know, he, he helping with the drug epidemic and all that. It's just a, it's just a beautiful time to be alive, y'all. Y'all gotta excuse me, but I'm wearing my, my feelings on my shoulder right now. And I'm just happy to be an American and where at least I know I'm free. Go Trump. And cry. <laughs> There is Henry Davis, an emotional viral video. And I've had moments like Henry when it just hits you how real everything is right now, how real Trump is. I mean, everyone says Trump saved us from Hillary, Trump saved America, but like, that's real, man. I mean, think about what would have happened if Hillary Clinton got in. Two Supreme Court justices, it would have been game over for the Constitution. It would have been wide open borders. It would have been game over for America. It would have been over. And just thank God for President Trump. No one else would have done it. And, and, and what do we deal with? What do we deal with? We deal with a bunch of sheeple that don't want to be a part of this. They don't want to win. They don't want prosperity. They don't want freedom. They don't want a future. They just want death and destruction and hatred and misery. And it's like, man, we're, we're up here soaring, dude. We're flying on the good ship lifestyle, miles above the rest. And you want to sit here 
and piss on it? For example, let's go to clip eight. Michael Moore, the human blob. Instead of wanting to lift America up, instead of wanting to tell you the truth, instead of wanting to motivate you, he wants to piss on you, lie to you, and make you a, a, a swaller, just pig in the streets. It's sick, man. The human blob misery of Michael Moore, he loves company, so he wants you to be as miserable as he is. So, so Trump saving America, bringing jobs back. I mean, it, the energy, the power, the emotion, it's all real. It grips your heartstrings. And then here comes Michael Moore. Listen to this trash on HBO. First, have to find ways to stop that vote from happening. Find ways? What, what does that mean? Well, I'll, like what? I'll, I'll join a million other people surrounding the United States Capitol. I will stand there. Oh. I will put well. my... This, I, Bill, let me tell you something. This judge goes through for the rest of at least well, all of our lives... It's a right no, no. court. That's it. It's over. Combined with the White House and the Congress. Well, yeah, yes. well Wrong. yes. And this, this is the last pause right here. This, this is what I'm saying. This guy's such a liar, man. This guy's such a liar. And then Kamala Harris says, we're in a constitutional crisis because of this new Supreme Court judge. Constitu Since when did, have you even read the Constitution? Oh, now you care about the Constitution. But it's so ridiculous. If you, if you actually go look at these rulings, most of them go down 5-4. If you look at these rulings, the left goes against the Constitution. And they say that that's constitutional. They literally vote to say a judge, an unelected judge in Hawaii has more say than the president. Do you realize how unconstitutional that is? That's what they vote for. And then they say, oh, we're in a constitutional crisis. We're not going to get the next Supreme Court pick. You vote against the Constitution. Let's go back to Michael Moore. Well, I mean, you're, you're the guy who kind of invented... two other possibilities, but, but, too, with Lisa yeah, Murkowski but, and, and uh, the senator Colin. from Maine, yeah. Colin. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, so yeah so I'm not going to depend on any Yeah, we tried that with the health care. No, it worked with health care. It worked with health care. The people in Nevada, uh, <laughs> they've got a, an incredible a Democratic congresswoman who's running for Senate. They are, have already voted for her. They love her. Arizona, an incredible Democratic congresswoman already elected by the people of Arizona, running, uh, 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 where, where they've got two Republican senators yeah. who want to stop Trump, McCain and okay, Flake. But, so you're saying you've got the beloved Democratic governor they're in exposed. Tennessee. This depends on us. Who is running as for the Senate. Okay. Why can't we do this? Because they because the Republicans control the Senate, and Mitch McConnell is going to call a vote before the election. I know, and I know, and he's so going to call the vote. This we is, don't know what are we going to do. That's no, right. So this is amazing. Here, here, see, look, like they're, they're, here's the craziest part about this. They're, they're like, I had the story somewhere. They're just, they're just in total denial that they lost. Yes, yeah, so in the New York Post, the left needs to face reality. Trump is winning. They don't get it. Our team is always looking for new ways to improve our products. That's why we've created the newest version of a fan favorite formula, the Real Red Pill Plus. The Real Red Pill Plus contains the powerful pregnenolone formula, now with an added energy boost. Now, you can support your heart, brain, and aging process with an added natural energy boost. The proprietary energy blend includes powerful ingredients like green tea extract, yerba mate leaf extract, and more. Paired with the powerful ingredients in the original Real Red Pill formula, the Real Red Pill has just what you need to support your body while getting the pick-me-up to get you through the day. The Real Red Pill Plus is a powerful investment into the future of your mind and body. Don't miss out on the all-new upgrade to your favorite product. Head to InfoWarsStore.com and get the Real Red Pill Plus today.